forces. Mitotic division occurs in body cells or somatic cells and leads to growth of an organism by increasing the number of cells. It is also the cell division that occurs during binary fission. During mitosis, the parent cell divides into two daughter cells, each having the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. It is the process of dividing the replicated DNA of the cell into two nuclei. Therefore, the key feature of mitosis is the preservation of the parental chromosome constitution. Mitotic cell division is a part of the larger cell cycle, taking about 80 minutes. As we earlier said, the cell spends a larger part of its time in interface stage. For convenience, mitosis is divided into several stages. Prophys, metaphys, anaphys, and telophys. These stages are not distinct, but occur in a smooth continuous sequence so that each stage merges into the next and the events often overlap. It is important to note that the cell undergoes mitosis to form two nuclei and then divides into two individual cells by the process called cytokinesis. Interface is the preparation stage for division. During this stage, the cell grows into nearly its full size and performs all its biochemical activities as usual. The cell also replicates its DNA so that we have sister chromatids. At this point, they are not visible by a light microscope. The cell also synthesizes new organelles like mitochondria, ER, Golgi bodies, and importantly, centrosomes in animal cells. It also builds up sufficient energy in the form of ATP. At the end of interface, two centrosomes appear on one end of the cell. During prophase, the chromosomes condense and thicken and therefore they become visible. The centrosomes start producing thread-like structures called microtubules which will form the spindle fibers. The nucleolus disappears as the nuclear membrane begins to break down. At the same time, the centrosomes move to the opposite sides while microtubules continue to grow. During metaphase, the spindle fibers lengthen and attach to the centromere. The chromosomes align themselves at the center of the cell with the sister chromatids facing the opposite sides of the cell. During anaphase, sister chromatids separate at the centromere due to shortening of the spindle fibers. The chromatids move to the opposite poles of the cell and the spindle fibers begin to disappear. Telophase is the final stage of mitosis. At this stage, the components of the new cells begin to appear. The spindle fibers are completely broken down. The chromosomes uncoil and return to an uncondensed state. A new nuclear membrane surrounds each set of the chromosomes at the poles of each cell. Mitosis is now complete. The cell now undergoes a process called cytokinesis in order to divide the cytoplasm into two nearly equal halves. All the organelles, having been duplicated, are now divided between the two new cells. Once formed, the two cells can now enter into interface to prepare for mitosis and the cycle continues. In that case, each daughter cell becomes a parent cell ready to divide. Since plant cell walls cannot be constricted by actin fibers, vesicles form an expanding membrane partition called the cell plate. Like animal cells, plant cells use cytokinesis to finish the division of the contents of the cytoplasm between the two identical daughter cells.